what kind of international collaboration projects did you join in your past? And you can mention any of them. All right. So, so one, uh, one uh, particular uh, international collaboration uh, system that I'm that I'm currently involved in, and that I've been involved with for quite a while already, uh, is COAST. That is an acronym stands for that stands for uh, cooperation, uh, European Corpor cooperation in science and technology. And this is a this is a project based uh, um, means for for uh, supporting European European collaboration networks uh, by by the European Council. And uh, this is a very interesting uh, initiative that could say is pretty successful because it works in a way that that a few uh, a smaller group of scientists uh, write a project over a larger uh, larger scientific uh, field so about about such such a field uh, to achieve some breakthrough something like this um, and once once they get funding uh, the project will become open to anyone from uh, any European countries and some some joint uh, uh, external members of co the coast organization to join the project uh, freely as they as they wish, and uh, two people from each country can be full time uh, full full members of the of the so called management committee that will be finally this. A uh, group of of uh, scientists. There will be a core group who, which is which is mostly from uh, coming from the from the ones who actually wrote the project. So the the chair is usually one uh, scientist who has been involved in writing the project and so on. And all the all the budget will in a way depend on the number of countries who joined. So it is it is uh, in the best of interest uh, for the for the core uh, team to approve as many countries as many they can, and then uh, in the first year the approval is even automatic. So so there are coast national coordinators in each countries in each country, and then uh, then uh, technically you just uh, get an okay from the chair. If it's an already running coast action, uh, but you can join anytime from from Europe. So once in my first coast action, I these are generally four years projects. Uh, I joined uh, at the beginning of the third year, and I was the the first uh, member from from Hungary. So I could actually I even had to manage some paperwork to sign the memorandum of understanding and so on, so that that the country officially joins. Uh, to that particular coast action, and what mm -hmm. is what is great in this uh, in in such a network is that uh, the money is all about co collaboration. So networking, everything that belongs to networking is somehow somehow funded. Mobility, uh, they give they give money for for managing uh, for organizing meetings. These meetings are like uh, like some kind of a very focused uh, conference about that particular uh, subject in which or, or that field that uh, that this particular network is uh, organized around these networks are, co are called coast actions mm -hmm. um, to, to so to make you see what kind of uh, networks are these for example there was one uh, uh, been involved with uh, it was called chemical biology with natural products, mm -hmm. and that's really a broad field. A lot of a lot of different uh, actually uh, involved by by different uh, different research groups. There was another one. Now 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 I'm in in uh, in one that is about uh, that is about multi drug resistant cancer, and. Uh, Finding new ways to to fight multi drug resistant cancer. Uh, so you should imagine things like this. And then there are let's say 50, 60 people uh, in the management committee, 
uh, and there can be many people in, included uh, as working group members. And then all these people can uh, are are being invited regularly invited to these meetings that we that we are holding. These are kind of conferences really that that are uh, so intense around that uh, subject that uh, it's a it's a it's a very very active and lively event not some of those huge conferences that you don't even know where to go and what to do because there are there is a smaller group of people everyone really is involved because they want to collaborate in this particular thing and uh, there is also another uh, tool that anyone can can uh, get access to that is the so-called stsm fund uh, short-term scientific mission that is uh, that is basically a uh, quite a significant amount of money that is for uh, that is to support uh, mainly young scientists but technically anyone who is within the network to travel and spend some time at the others uh, groups so imagine such a conference that that everyone is interested in the same thing everybody wants to collaborate and then if they have some common ideas then they can actually send uh, PhD students, postdocs, or they can visit uh, each other simply by actually, oh, I have a good idea. Let's just write to the STSM coordinator. I would need this amount of money, and uh, and it's and it's pretty much done. So so it is a it is a really really nice uh, thing for for scientists to join such a uh, such a network. Um, well, concerning uh, third countries that are out of yes. Europe, as far as I know, only only Israel is uh, is full uh, external member of uh, of the coast. Although some some Turkish scientists usually maybe Turkey, Israel, uh, I don't know of any countries from the Far East that would be member, and I think uh, that's that's not the case. However. Um, scientists from from uh, third countries can be invited to such uh, events, these coast meetings, these be the conferences, mm -hmm. kind of kind of meetings that I mentioned, um, can be invited as external experts. So if uh, if let's say a Taiwanese uh, scientist has a good collaboration with some European uh, groups then uh, they can manage between each other that uh, if the european group is involved in some of some of these uh, initiatives and there is something that is that is interesting to to both of them then uh, they can actually invite uh, their uh, taiwanese collaboration partner to such an event and then uh, well then the network is is, is on and <laughs> And certainly, certainly, people will meet and and talk and, and discuss about things they are mm -hmm. interested in, and, and a lot of lot of very nice collaboration started uh, for me uh, in in such a way. In fact, any ghost meeting I join, I always find some some new collaborations, at least one, sometimes two, sometimes three. <laughs> and this is this is the downside of it actually, because because one has to be uh, pretty selective after a while because you can you can get easily overloaded uh, by the by the too many mm. too many collaborations if you can if you cannot e not easily uh, manage everything next to each other mm. um, me i am a chemist so i have a lot of lot of compounds prepared so it's a little easy probably that uh, any any bioactivity testing for example is interesting for me then, then i can i can send uh, certain uh, smaller sets of compounds uh, to many different places if they have some some uh, good models to test our compounds but i can also send my people to learn new chemistry and that is that is another very useful very useful thing so you say this fund this cost is not supporting any research right no that is well that is the other we can call it downside but uh, but uh, in a way, um, yeah, it's not for that. So it's for it's for people to meet, to get to know each other, to start collaborating. Uh, usually, it's worthy to join such a network if you have your own 
funding, at least to some mm -hmm. extent. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly, a lot of lot of uh, bigger projects can also grow out of this because you meet the proper people. Uh, you can you meet you meet the right scientists to to join together and then make a make a well. Uh, such a uh, to prepare together for for such a uh, call for proposals and that's that's what we also did and this is another thing that i uh, also wanted to wanted to mention that uh, i made uh, quite good friends within within such uh, cost networkings um, and uh, and we did put together uh, a larger european uh, proposal for a for a Marie Curie uh, mm -hmm. uh, action uh, ITN that is an innovative uh, training network that we tried to get. Well, I'm saying tried to get, so <laughs> uh, it's already it's already encoded in this uh, <laughs> phrasing that uh, that we did not get it uh, even after I think we tried four or five times. So that's that was really uh not a positive experience in this way um, so did you we try find it many topic? times sorry did you yeah yeah, yeah, you yeah. Try we the tried the topic same topic we no it was always the same and it it well not not really the same because we refined it a little bit and we we reshaped it so it was cancer it was compounds it was uh let's get uh, new strategies innovative uh, ways to to fight uh, cancer diseases uh, and so on and so on it was better and better always better we always got a little higher uh, uh, points but um, but finally we reached uh, some 90 percent uh, of the total of score possible but still uh, still we did not get it it's uh, well it's a it's a tough business indeed i know i know that and i'm not sure that we will still try the same proposal but anyway we we had a great experience in working together in in shaping the proposal in putting together ideas so in a way one can say it's a waste of time in an in a way it's true in another way it's never a waste of time because you can always use uh, that material for for something else um, one of the partners who was who was in it we had to find out itn is about uh, is about uh, joint uh, joint phd supervision so there is uh, it's it's uh, some elite phd uh, program that that uh, europe uh, is funding and uh, and the idea is that there are there are co-supervisors from different countries uh, that are then there have to be a lot of a lot of complementary expertises between the the partners and then my phd student goes goes to your lab for for two months three months and then your phd student comes to mine and then we will be uh, constantly collaborating and so on and so on and then there will be a joint supervision finally or all together um and we had we really had to put together good ideas how how actually our PhD students will uh, will work together with each other's um, approaches and and toolkits and and, uh, and and how our topics can can actually complement each other. And this is what uh, this is what we did uh, quite well, I think. So, for example, one of my postdocs was about to to go to to greece to one of one of the mm -hmm. partners in this uh, in this well alleged network or sub network let's let's say uh, and we had a really nice project put together actually that that uh, visit would have been funded by cost again but the idea came during uh, shaping uh, shaping this itn itn project but so you in say, a way, never is lost. <laughs> Nothing is lost ever. Yeah. But you say that the ITN project was not accepted, so you funded from different source. This yeah, sure, PhD. sure. PhD. Okay, okay. But it was it helped to realize that cooperation, right? Exactly. Exactly. Kind of this is it. it this is it. Okay. 
yeah yeah that's interesting so would you try to uh, apply in the future and would you search for some collaborators or ideas from maybe taiwan <laughs> <laughs> well yeah um as you know when we spoke much about about this i have pretty close ties to to taiwan and my answer is certainly yes absolutely uh, we have been uh, collaborating with uh, with quite several taiwanese uh, research groups um maybe maybe i just mentioned here briefly also that that i spent my postdoc in taiwan and and uh, ever since we have very good connection uh, with the with the hosting hosting lab and other labs that we that we used to work together with um well we had uh, we had an ongoing uh, uh, ppp project it's um, um i'm not sure what the what the third p uh, <laughs> stands for but it's project based um, partnership partnership program yeah, that's it that's it uh indeed funded by by the hungarian academy of sciences from our side and from the from the ministry of science and technology from from taiwan side and we and we had this like three or four times already consecutively uh, these are two years uh, smaller projects uh, also funding mobility and um, for example this this was a great experience to to uh, to have this as a as a let's say funding scheme or or network to uh, to collaborate with with taiwanese groups it's mm. it was it was really nice and very useful to our to our phd students who could who could then get uh, dual degrees 